What's up bros, welcome to another BroGraph motion graphics tutorial. I am Matt Milstead, and today we're going to be using Illustrator files in After Effects in order to create some cartoon animations. Um, to do this, uh, let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so I have this little Illustrator file that was created for me. And uh, basically we want this little guy to sneeze. Now in Illustrator, um, uh, it's a little bit different than Photoshop. Uh, in Photoshop, you know, uh, you can create layers and then you bring those layers in. That's similar, uh, but normally you create a layer in Illustrator and with all the shapes that you're making, um, if you don't create an additional layer, it's all gonna throw it into that one layer. Well, with this, with bringing in Illustrator files, um, really what you want to do is you want to create the additional layers. Um, uh, all the layers that are going to be moving separately, you want to have on their own individual layers. Now you can see this little guy, he's got his arm, which uh, his arm and his hand are connected together. Um, he's got the tissue where he's going to be sneezing into that. Um, this is him. Uh, his eyes, because he's going to be squinting or uh, straining whenever he sneezes. Um, and then some sweat, and then mouth. Ah, chew, ah, chew. Yeah. So we've created all these individual layers, and uh, once you've got them all in your individual layers, uh, you can go ahead and save your file. Whoops, that's another tutorial I'm doing later. All right, and then we can import it into After Effects. Uh, file import file or you can double click the empty box. And then we'll grab our Sneeze Illustrator. And when we're importing, we wanna do import as composition retain layer sizes. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna make a composition the size of your artboard. And then it's going to bring in each of your individual layers. Very similar actually exactly like bringing in a, uh, a Photoshop file. So what is the difference between bringing in a Photoshop file and bringing in an Illustrator file? Well, the best reason to bring in an Illustrator file is if we were to sub, uh, uh, put that into another composition, um, if we switch this little toggle right here, it's the uh, Collapse Transformations for Vector Layer Continuous Rasterize. If we click on this, and we scale it up, we don't lose any quality. Now, you can't do that with pixels. You can't do that with Photoshop files because they're not vector art. Vector art, that's one of the best things about vector art and one of the best things about using vector art in animation. So we've got this pre-composed with all of our stuff. Say we wanted to do a camera cut, make this 100, and then like we'll say like, uh, one second in, we'll just shift command uh, D and that'll split our composition and then we could scale this so that while our animation is happening, then let's move it over here so we get kind of a different shot, we can scale it up and do cuts basically uh, uh, in our animation without really having to create completely new animations. That's what's great about working with vector files. All right, so let's go ahead and make this guy sneeze. Uh, I'll uh, control Z back so that I can get just the 100%. Okay, so we'll go ahead and import this little sneeze that I have. You can hear it. That too. I don't know if I have audio recording. Let's hope so. If not, I'll add it in afterwards. All right, so let's go ahead and find the audio that we want. Hit, uh, if you're on a laptop, this is what annoys me, you have to hit control uh, forward arrow in order to preview. So, no, it was a better one. That one, all right. Okay, so, if you hit Alt, forward bracket, that'll cut it towards, uh, cut it to where the timeline indicator is. If you just hit forward bracket, it'll move it to where the timeline indicator is. Let's go ahead and hear that. 
right then we will end that there alt end bracket all right so if you hit l twice you can see a waveform so about right there is where we want all the magic to happen <clears throat> so uh, we let's go ahead and start animating our character so we'll pick the starting point and with each of these the important thing is anytime it's going to rotate or change position or something mostly rotate you need to change the anchor point to the right po the right place so on the arm if you hit Y this will give you the little anchor point move tool let's go ahead and move that to about right there where his arm would be um, and then the tissue, the tissue it's going to rotate from here where the nose is blowing it. And then George is good. George's eyes are closed and open. That's fine because these are just going to turn on and off. I'm not going to worry about the sweat. Um, mouth is going to turn on and off. And then George's head. Uh, let's go ahead and put this here. And he'll rotate his head along with the sneeze. And then that's just a background. Okay, so probably let's go ahead and set all of our things. Now our tissue, we want that parented to the arm. And you'll see why. Uh, when it's parented, the tissue will move with the arm. Now that's really important when you're creating characters um, with a lot of, like, points and pivots and moving points. Uh, you want to be able to connect to the hand, the forearm, the forearm to the upper arm, the upper arm, to the shoulder, and all this. Um, so you want to make sure that you're parenting to the right things. So the tissue is going to be parented to the arm, um, and yeah, that's all we really need to parent right here. Um, we don't have that much in depth that we're just making a guy sneeze. All right, so the only thing we're moving here is our rotation. So we will start here and we'll bring it down to there. And now our tissue, as you can see here by the uh, the box, uh, it's facing that way. Well, that's not correct uh, physics or gravity. So we'll get, go ahead and start our tissue right there and throw a keyframe. So our audio is about right here where he breathes in. And then right here is when he sneezes. So we want the hand to be up at this point when he sneezes and let's go ahead and do an ease in and let's do an ease out on this one that way it just creates anytime there's a realistic movement you're trying to get that organic realistic look sometimes the eases are the best thing to do uh, unless it's uh, something that's stopping automatically if you uh, if you get a, uh, uh, an animation book you'll see that movements uh, when they're up high you know and they're falling they have a lot more points up at the top than they do at the bottom because they're gaining momentum and they're getting faster. So here we're going to say he's easing up and easing into it. And then we want the rotation on the uh, tissue to follow suit. So ease in and then ease out here. So you can see the tissue stays correct gravity because we did it that way. Now on the sneeze we want let's, uh, let's see the top sneeze probably about right here and we can adjust these keyframes if need be. Oops, not the arm, the tissue is going to go out there because all of his air coming from his nose is causing it to go up. We'll do an ease here, F9. Let's go ahead and do a ease, a full easy ease right there. Then we'll bring that down to zero. Actually, let's make it rock back and forth. So we'll start here, go about that far, and then right there. So it goes up, shoo, rock back and forth. All right, two, and then we'll have his arm 
go back down. So we're going to need to adjust that rotation here too. Then let's add some eases here. Ease here. Whew. Shoo. So real simple movements, real simple ways to create those uh, those movements. And then let's go ahead and add some uh, motion blur to it. So the arm and the tissue, we want to add some motion blur. And then we want to make sure that the correct things are played, uh, are on at the right time. So during the big sneeze, we want his closed eyes to be on. So we'll go ahead and hit uh, uh, start bracket and that'll move your layer to uh, the beginning of the timeline indicator. And then George's eyes open, uh, go back one frame and then hit alt end bracket and that'll cut it to where the timeline indicator is. Boom. And then we will end there. Then let's make another duplicate of that and move that to right there. So, uh, two. And we're going to want to do the same thing with the mouth. Let's see. So closed mouth is probably going choo. And then this one, we will end bracket, duplicate, move that over to the correct time. And then alt, end bracket there. we got to make sure all of our layers are on. Uh, whoops, wrong way. I did the opposite. So we will do that, that, we'll duplicate that there. Throw that right there. I had the wrong mouth movements. That's alright. So, uh, choo, choo, cool. And then let's move his head with it. So, George's head, I'm going to do a rotate and probably position too. Boom to the apex of there. We'll do rotate there. Oh, you know what? What we want to do here, we actually want to uh, parent, sweat, the mouth, and the eyes all to George's head. See what I said about parenting? It's very important. So then when we do that, the sneeze comes through. Actually, we don't need to change the position at all. Do an F9, then back there, we'll just copy and paste this keyframe. Shift F9, that'll do an ease in. So let's do a position and rotation there, and then he's going to lean his head back like he's gasping air. And then move it forward, I guess. Yeah, that looks better. Achoo. Nice. All right. So we've got that. And then let's preview it. And, and preview. There we go. That looks pretty good. So we could do a little bit of timing. I think the uh, the keyframes are just a tiny bit off in comparison to the uh, the sneeze. Let's try that. Now the heads, the eyes aren't going to move at the right time. There we go. That's much better. So yeah, there you go. So simple movements uh, with vector files, bringing in vector files, and you know, uh, uh, if we go back here, like I said earlier. Say we wanted to cut right where the uh, the sneeze was. We could zoom that in, and so you see you've got a cut here, a chew, and so you didn't have to worry about it becoming pixelated or anything like that because you're working in vector files. That's the best thing about vector files. So, anyways, that's a simple uh, tutorial on how to create uh, simple animated characters using vector files and Illustrator files. So uh, I'm Matt Milstead. This is BroGraph. If you have any questions, hit us up on one of the social networks. If you guys see us this next week at NAB, come and say hi. Say, oh, I watched your vector file one. It was really good. It, I created my own animation. Do you want to see it on my phone? And then show it to me. And I'll be like, 
That's awesome. Well done. I'm really excited. Let's go have lunch. Or not. Uh, cool. Yeah. See you guys next time.